All right, folks, it's story time. So here's the deal. When you're fishing in the south, there's a lot of things out there, okay? A lot of toothy creatures, a lot of things that can hurt you just swimming around. And I'm talking about there's fish that'll do that. There's other wildlife. There are giant amphibious creatures that are known to kill people every year. When me and Badge, your boy the beard and the badge, we go fishing a lot. We take the old blue low stinger out to pretty much every place on this planet that has water. And we attempt to catch fish of all shapes, sizes, and colors. But on this particular day that you're about to see, we encountered what I would say, if you would agree, Badge, probably the most dangerous uh, <laughs> freshwater creature in America. I mean, yeah, I'd say so. Freshwater. Fresh so, because shark would probably yeah. be, you know, saltwater. Freshwater. Most dangerous freshwater creature in the United States. D correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I, I don't think I am. I think I'm with you. I, I think, think you. this is the most dangerous creature. So, your boy Badge, you were at the front of the boat for some reason. I don't even know what I was doing. <laughs> I'm working the trolling motor. Badge is casting. And he's casting not just any lure. A particular lure that has a near and dear place to my heart. The buzzbait, which is, to me, the most exciting topwater lure that exists. Now, these giant dangerous creatures are not known to attack buzzbaits. They are known to attack other types of fishing lures, because there's plenty of videos out there. There has never been one, to my knowledge, that has attacked a buzz bait, which is basically a personal attack on myself. <laughs> which is just kind of freaked out. So Badge is at the front of the boat. I'm working the trolling motor. He's casting around a buzz bait. I don't even think we were filming, because... We were in the middle of a transition. We were about to leave this cove. Yeah, I don't I, even know what we were doing. I think you were changing your GoPro battery. Right. There was just, there was nothing happening. Like no, nothing was going on. We caught a couple fish. We were going to go somewhere else to try to catch some fish. All of a sudden, this creature latches on to Badge's buzzbait, turns around, attacks it out of nowhere. And next thing you know, we're in a fight of our lives here. <laughs> we, we're hooked up to a big alligator. In the mouth, not a little baby, okay? We're not talking about the little ones that'll come up to you and swim up to you and be like, rrr, rrr, like, throw me some fish, you know what I mean? Like the cute ones that you want to hold at, at the freaking alligator world. No, 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 no. We're talking about good size alligator, like tear your hand off size. Like if you're in the water with it and it's mad at you, it could easily kill you, okay? That size of alligator. And as Badge is fighting it, I'm trying to help him. And you know what? There's no better way to describe it than to just show you. Oh my God. Okay, so Badge. I don't know what to do. What have you done, Badge? <laughs> I was just buzz baiting, dude. You were buzz baiting in a freaking gator. We're pretty sure a gator has now grabbed a hold. Oh, I saw tail. Oh God, Badge. It's not good, dude. Oh my it's God, this rolling. thing is fighting so hard. Here, get the very front. Oh my, oh my God, God. Badge, loosen your drag, loosen your drag. He's gonna snap your rod. Dude, why, Badge? I just did. tell me why. I didn't mean to, I swear. Oh my God, that I rod is gonna just snap. Rolling, dude. How is this line not broken yet? It's like 80 pound braid. Do I bring them up? Do I? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. What do I do, dude? I don't know. I mean, I've never, we'd like him to shake loose, but we may have to cut the line. Oh my God. He, oh my gosh, he's coming back up. It's shallow. Oh my God, he's so heavy. Oh my God. Oh God! The Hummer, dude. It just, it <laughs> the Hummer just matter. catches everything. Oh God! Follow him. Don't let him get out of the boat. He's gonna snap your rod. Listen, oh your drag. My God. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm so serious. Like, what do I do? What do I do? I honestly don't know. What do know. you think? I don't know. Um, Is it gonna freak him up having a buzz bait in the face? I don't think so. I mean, it's an alligator. He's, they're pretty hardy. They're pretty tough. Jesus, dude. Yeah, he's tough. I don't know, man. You have to reach in there and lip him. Just gonna have to oh unhook him gosh. the old fashioned way. Dude, it's like deep sea fishing, man. Like, my arms are. He's right here. Would you grab him? <laughs> no. I don't know if he. He's a little too big to grab by the head, I think. Yeah, he's, he's a big one, dude. Oh my gosh. Where is he? He's just sitting there now. Or no, he's going. <laughs> he's just pulling the boat around. We're just getting freaking squigged over here. Badge, what have you done? I've done it, dude. What have you done? Look at the this freaking. Literally, the Hummer is like, it, it's it like just a... does it. This is what happens, kids. When you're in an alligator lake, be oh. careful when you're throwing topwater. That's all Look I can at tell him, you. Dude, his mouth right there. Oh, that's a, yeah, it's way too big to grab. That's, that's like that's, a five foot. That's way too big to grab. Oh, my God. If it was dude. smaller, I would have certainly grabbed it and just tried to take it out of its face. 
guess we're gonna have to cut it eventually. Oh my gosh. Do we dude. have like a pole or anything we could try to knock it out of its mouth? With the net? We maybe? have a net, possibly. It's dangerous, man. If you I mean you're gonna have to bring them up and hold them out of the water, which is gonna be next to impossible. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Badge. I cannot even believe it. This thing's not getting tired, huh? It's it's somewhat, but I just don't want to like what if it's crammed? Let me get this up let me get, get this out of the water. So we don't get it wrapped around our boat. Oh my god. It's right there. It's right there. Look at him rolling. Death rolling, baby. Oh my god. Oh, careful, Lojo. Look at that. Oh, oh my god. Dad, you son of a bitch. If you honestly, if you can get him like that again, I might be able to just punch him with that net. <laughs> just give him a little nip with the net pole, like to the face, and it might knock it out. I didn't sure. see the buzz bait though. Is the buzz bait like in his mouth? I, I think I saw it. If it's in his mouth, then we just need to cut it. Okay, let me. I, okay. Look, 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 on, the, on the side. Yeah, it is on the side. Uh, maybe let me grab the net. I don't know what I'm gonna freaking do, but. Okay, just see if you can get him to just oh keep fighting. God. My back is sore already. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. Let me see if I can just kind of pop it off. I know it's going to be hard for you to hold them, but. Oh, come on. Oh, I hit it. Oh, my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, it's so close. If you would just bite the oh line. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Catch and release, dude. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Woo. Okay. We, uh, Oh my god, look at it. I can't believe it held, dude. If this was ever an endorsement for Guggen, now of course the blade got bent, yeah. but the actual wire never broke. Sometimes these wire baits will break at that point, yeah. but this did not break. Dude, we, that was like a catch or release of a five foot gator. That's freaking insane. Dude, I've never in my life have I hooked a gator in any way. That one was like five foot, dude. I've seen them get hooked in Florida like on a frog or something on accident, but never that big. Never oh that my big. gosh, dude. That's freaking nuts. <laughs> dude, That's freaking nuts. Dude, that was one of the most fun times I've ever had with you. I'm so serious. Dude, he, it almost seemed like calm when he would come up. Like he was almost yeah. like, hey, get this thing out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Which I probably It was on not. the side, it was on the side though. Yeah, so it, it, didn't, it didn't hurt him. No, he didn't, no, alligator's not gonna feel it. He's just, he doesn't know why he's trapped and he can't get away. Oh my. Dude, that was Gosh. nuts. Like, that's not a baby. That's like, that's like juvenile. Yeah. That's like a juvenile male. Well, not, I don't know if, what if it's male or female. That's like a juvenile gator. Like, it's almost in its adulthood right there. Dude, I'm shaking. Incredibly dangerous what we just did. Um, wow. But hey, look, when you're in an alligator lake or any kind of southern lake, especially Alabama, Florida, there's a lot of alligators. And they love top water. That's the thing. Like, you know, and a lot of times you won't see them. You know what I mean? A lot of times they'll be in grass or they'll be on the bank and you don't even see them until they're already chasing your lure or they've got your lure. Wow. Thank God we had this freaking yeah. extra long Bubba net. Dude, and shout and out to you. Shout out to Lojo, because he <laughs> saved, that alligators are tough, but. Alligators are tough, but we wouldn't want line like no, wrapped around its head. Like braid. Braid that may throat. get stuck and kill it. So I'm really glad that we got that out of his face. Holy sh dude. That's the, that's the biggest gator I've ever seen hooked like that while fishing. That's insane. And the fact that we got it out of its mouth and this buzz bait did not break, I am shocked. Okay, we, we got it. We tired it out. We got it to the boat. Yeah. And that, that counts as landing. In I, my I, would, I would say so. So like, you're on the board with like a 100 pound freaking. That's incredible, dude. <laughs> that's incredible. Dude, that was freaking nuts, man. Holy shit. Let's get back to catching some actual bass so uh, we don't have a heart attack today. I mean. What, what is there to say? I mean, <laughs> honestly, like, I, I, the whole thing, we've been talking about it all day. It's, it just, it doesn't, it defies logic in so many different ways. One, we didn't see it. Normally you see alligators on the surface. Two, they don't, they attack like slow moving baits, like a frog or something. There's yeah. a million videos out there of people flipping frogs at an alligator and having them kind of chase it. And once again, these are really small alligators. Right, right. Not this size. You don't see alligators this size chasing people's fishing lures. Typically, of course, there's always an exception. But you make a cast with a buzz bait, it gets chomped on. We both hear it get chomped, like the jaws of life latch onto this thing. Did, did you know you were hooked up to an alligator right away? So typically, when me and Lojo are fishing, like you can make a cast near a big gator, they don't really care. 
ever. Yeah, true. We've seen quite a bit yeah. on that lake. They just like get in the water, scurry around. Dude. Yeah, if, if they do anything, they just try to get away from you. Yeah. They never like charge your lure. So you knew it was an alligator then right away. Oh, I knew it. Okay. See, I, there was a there was a moment where I didn't know what was going on. I was like, oh my God. And then of course, by the time I picked up the big camera and started rolling, then we knew what was happening. But the fight on that thing, now I never felt it. But the fight, that was a heavy Guggen rod, which is basically like a seven foot three heavy power fast action rod. Not only was it doubled over, but it looked like it was, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm, it, I thought it should have broke. Dude, I thought I any fishing too. rod would have broken yeah. in that scenario, but luckily it didn't. But I mean, dude, what was that fight like? It was, it was similar to deep sea fishing. I remember you kept saying that during, that's funny. I can imagine like, like giant rod between your legs, you're just like, Oh my God, what is this? You know, just freaking. <laughs> and dude, you, you know how they do like the death roll? Yeah, yeah. I could feel it doing that. Had the line not break? I don't know, man. That uh, was another thing we were shocked about. Had the line not break. Now, of course, it was probably 50 or 65 pound, you know, Guggen braid or something. But you got to ask yourself, how, how heavy was that alligator? I'm saying at least probably 100, 150 pounds. Yeah, at, was, at least. I mean, yeah. we're probably around that. But I mean, good God, like that's a lot of weight. You pulled it up several times. Oh, like, yeah. Pulled its head out of the water. You guys saw. I mean, and I was getting so stupid close with the camera because I just wanted to get a, a good shot. I was, I'm such a rookie cameraman. I'm just like, oh, hey, Gator, check it out. <laughs> like paparazzi just sticking a camera in his face and he's just like <sighs> going crazy. And all the while, the buzz bait's just hanging out of the side of his face. The blade, that gold blade is just flopping yeah. in the wind. Somehow it got him in the cheek just like a bass, which yeah. is crazy. Cause you figure an alligator like that, his mouth is so big. If he clamps on something, he's probably gonna get it in his throat. That's what I thought, yeah. But luckily it wasn't, it was on the side of his face. We didn't really know what to do. We freaking, I took the net. Dude. <laughs> just like hit him with like I was assaulting him. And the second or third hit, and I just knocked it right out. And he kind of just looked like he was gra gracious or he was grateful and he just took off. Here's the real crazy thing. I, if that, all that wasn't crazy enough. The damn buzz bait, it didn't break. Like now, of course it's all fricked up. It looks like it's been eaten by an alligator. But a lot of times with, with wire baits, you put a lot of pressure on it, the wire can actually break or the hook can straighten out or something. But I was shocked that none of that had happened. The blade was kind of crushed some, you could tell from its jaws. And the wire was obviously bent because that's what they do. They bend under pressure but it was completely intact still. So Padge is gonna keep that as a souvenir, which I think is a really cool idea. I also think it would be a cool idea if you could fish with that destroyed lure and catch a fish on oh, it. Oh, snap. So a little challenge gauntlet thrown down for you, so you can attempt that on your channel if you'd like. I think that's probably one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I mean, and then like, I, I really am so grateful that we were able to knock the hook out of its face. Yeah. I'm grateful that it wasn't in his throat yep. anyways, but we had all this line that was out. We didn't want to cut the line. That would have been the obvious thing to do, right? Like if you had small children in the boat or something, oh, yeah. you're not going to risk that. You're going to cut the line. You're going to just say, hey, I'm sorry, alligator. Hopefully you're okay. But we didn't want to let that alligator get away and have 20 yards of braid hanging behind it. So then it gets stuck on a dock or something or it like, it gets in a freaking uh, prop of a motor or something. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of crazy things that could have happened. So we didn't want to do that. So then the mission became knocking it out of his mouth, which luckily I was able to do. That was crazy, man. I, I, would, I would challenge YouTube to produce a crazier alligator and fishing lure video than that with a bigger alligator that you got that close to your boat. There's been some, I remember there's some like jug fishing ones where guys pull up alligators and yeah, stuff, yeah. which is pretty crazy. But as far as like bass fishing and hooking into gators, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Especially yeah. with like a, a bass fishing setup, like yeah, not, not a right. gator fishing rod. Or even like a cat fishing setup yeah. where you got extremely heavy line, extremely heavy rod anyways, it wasn't like that. So yeah, all those things combined made it an absolute crazy adventure. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know you did. Smash that thumbs up button if you like this little uh, story time with a with the live video clip. You know, sometimes things happen in between videos or stuff like that that we capture on video. And this is a way that I'm glad we got to share this one thing with you because it wasn't enough for a video just on its own. So we decided to talk about it, show it to you guys, and I really hope you enjoyed. But make sure you guys are subscribing. That way we can get to a million this year and shade the spirit of face. Go check out Badge over at AO Fishing. You love you guys. We are out of here.